Hey, and welcome to another special Corona episode. Before the stormtroopers boot into our doors and take us all away for not having immunity cards. How are you guys doing? More faith. Watching gold members. Some sort of concentration camp for not wearing faith. Darn Queen Bay. Oh yeah, is that her now? Is Heather Graham in this one? That's the second one. That's number two. See, like, I think I've seen that, like, a good bit. I don't really think I've seen this more than once, ever. Is there a fourth one, or that's just the love guru? Fourth one might come out. No joke. Like, that might happen soon. Like, a rebooted Austin Powers, since they have to reboot everything. Do you think they make a, a love guru reboot, or a sequel? No, nah, I think everyone forgot about that one. But isn't, like, the Toronto Maple Leafs in that? Yep. Yeah. What a great Wouldn't pairing. going to play Austin Powers, Zac Efron, maybe? I think it's going to be, um... That'd be my, my vote. Mike Myers rock. back. It might have been why the movie bones. It's too much hockey in it for people. <laughs> yeah. I think that kind of is the case. It never really goes well. And they had a brother playing hockey, too. Yeah, well, but you got P.K. Sue Bones, and maybe it was supposed to be him. It's true. Actually, it did go well for Mighty Ducks. That, that made a good amount of money. I, and they were rebooting the Mighty Ducks. Definitely. And, um, Estevez is involved. Hmm. I think so is the Pacey kid, too. Who's Charlie? Yeah. Or Aberman. No, Aberman's, like, you know, doing some heroin with uh, Goldberg. Yeah, Gold Goldberg's gonna come back. He's gonna revive his career. How come Aberman wow, never made the pros? So awful. I wonder if actually that kind of was legit, like, uh, like a pyro blow up there. I don't know. Interesting. Fucking David Schwartzman. Yeah. Let's play it off for a second. That's that was the big pop joke right there, having Tom Cruise in us. Is it going to be uh, Nicole Kidman or something? Glenn. Oh, wow. Goop. Getting good. The Goop uh, founder herself. going to sell him a vagina candle. You know, I'm Glenn just not attractive. I disagree. Yeah, she She's like She's super, not, especially like right yeah. here. She looks good, like super hot. And she looks good in Iron Man. All those like movies. She looks good. And uh, that that fucking other Folly Brothers movie. What's that? Where oh she's, yeah. Like, fat. She like looks really good in that. Oh, yeah. Jack Shallow Hal. Yeah. yeah then like, she's really good in the Royal Tail Bombs. Bombs. That's about it. She looks good. In, she looks good a lot of times. She always looks good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, canceled. Oh shit! Canceled. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Totally canceled. Shit. Good call. He canceled Spacey. Oh shit. Wow, Ken Spacey in like a cute joke. That's like a weird occurrence now. DeVito! Frank. Oh, nice. <laughs> Still bringing it. I rather see this movie than the one we're about to watch. Yeah, it sound, this looks. would be good. Oh, is that John Leguizamo? It looked like him. Uh, I think we're fooled, but. Oh. Spielberg. This is before he raped a few kids. <laughs> Three movies in, same jokes. <laughs> Definitely didn't shoot this together. No, Steven Spielberg's on set every day for Austin Power <laughs> Street. It's not set doing coke. Yeah. Doing so can, doing coke and dropping acid. Yeah, he's doing coke, dropping like, acid, and he's got like an E.T. like the puppet, like that he's always bringing yeah. around with him. Yeah, how come Spielberg never acted in his own movies? He's really good, talented. Yeah, that was really, really dumb. Yeah, do you know what his daughter does now? His like one black daughter? Porn star? Yeah, she's like a webcam porn, and she's like not very good looking at all, but like she does webcam porn, and she talks she's about how like, it's like empowering. <laughs> she's really? like, yeah. Steven Spielberg. Yeah, she's obviously raped. She's a half sister. I think I saw it on Efucked. It's a, we're, we're sponsored by Efucked, by the way. Yeah. Does all she talk about is how um, Steven Spielberg is her dad the whole time? Um, it's like a big interview, and like it's like an interview where she's like talking about. It. She thinks she's like doing something that's like you know breaking everything down because she's doing porn. You know what I mean? It's 
They're kind of yeah. funny. It's one of those. Oh, wow. Mm. They just like, have, have throw in as many cameos as they can just to distract from everything else going on. Yeah, that's that's a weird one, too. Like, not no one really, like, kind of knows him, right? Yeah. Is he that popular to throw in as a cameo? Like, For sure, man. It's uh, shit, too, man. I mean, everyone knows his daughter more. Who's his daughter? Regina Jones. Who's that? She's in um Parks and Rec and stuff. Oh, Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Well, yeah. it really is, like, just cameo after cameo, and it's, like... Yeah, Britney wow. Britney, bitch. I guess cameos equal funny. Yep. This is definitely that cameo-type movie, because, like, they didn't have much plot, so they're just, like, let's just throw people in it. Wait, I don't understand. In a world where Britney Spears is involved, no one knows who the fuck Beyonce is? Yeah, that's strange. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck. Too bad for uh, Michael Myers. Hey man, he went from uh, Wayne's World to this. This is terrible it's song. Be, yeah. It'll be a long hour and a half. <laughs> well, I assume it's gonna be more than this. Come on. You got Queen B coming in. Queen, Queen Bay. Bay. they introduced Fat Bastard or everybody was like in the second I don't remember the I think he's in the second I think oh this is the movie where Fat Bastard's also a pedophile yeah he has like a little child sleeve within the sex sleeve <laughs> and he definitely rapes uh, Vern Troyer too yeah I think Vern Troyer also has Vern Troyer is raping this he's got that Maybe. Indonesian sex sleeve <laughs> like the video of the, the ape fucking the frog <laughs> is he still alive I don't know I remember seeing him on some reality show and he was in like a motorized cart getting drunk and like pissing in other people's rooms <laughs> hmm. No. Oh no, he's dead. Uh, he's dead, Ventura. Isn't that a sad thing or no? Okay, I, don't know. I don't know. I'm not really. Uh, no one's did, missing him. I'm trying to I'm trying to process the. You threw a lot at me right there with that. <laughs> what was he getting other than this? That knee high pi show or some shit? Yeah, he had a bunch of parts. Was he in like a scary movie or something? Yeah, that seems like a good good way to fit him in somehow. He was in that Terry Gilliam movie uh, with Heath Ledger and everybody else. <laughs> oh, the uh, Parnassus? Shit. Yeah, the fabulous Parnassus mystery thing. I don't, yeah, I don't really remember. The fabulous Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey? Yeah, Dreamcoat something. This really did. That, this made some money though. Three hundred billion. Billion. Just billion to make this. Three hundred million. I'm sorry. About three hundred million. Off a budget of sixty three million. This was a success. Nice. How the other ones do? Is was this the most successful one? You know what? Honestly, this might be, which is like sad. <laughs> it's gotta be the first one, right? Man of Mystery, 1997. No, it did not make nearly as much as the, th the third one. The third, the second one made the most money. But that made like four? 312 uh, million. In oh, almost, so it was like very close. It was only 33 million to make. Fucking pedophile. This movie cost 63 million dollars to make. Let's process that. Why? Does he get Britney Spears? He's mm -hmm. Fred Savage probably is a cool four mil. I guess Beyonce maybe too. Oh, Queen Bay? She's she's priceless. 
Doctor Evil looks good like John Travolta when he doesn't have one of his wigs on. Yeah, it seems like he's like done worse. Like the makeup is like no one gives a shit at this point, and the makeup is worse or something. I don't remember his eyes being like this. Nice to get Starbucks product placement in there for everyone. Right in front of Seth, uh, Seth Green. Wait. Who's Scott? Who, who's fucking to that bag? Bag it's supposed to be? It's his <laughs> son. Yeah, it's his son. Pedophile, huh? That's what everyone says. <laughs> you like the Marlin joke? The Marlin joke there? Got me a Marlin. Preparation each. Yep. Yep. You can see these jokes uh, way before they happen. Yep. So is hockey done? They didn't announce it yet. I think it's done forever. You guys liking this? <laughs> it's the same thing over and over, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can see why there hasn't been a fourth. I don't seem like Michael Myers just like didn't want to do anymore after the Love Guru. I think he didn't have to because he did Shrek, right? Yeah. He's got that Shrek cash. <laughs> when I mean, you're rolling in Shrek money, man, you don't have to do shit. Those movies made it a lot of money. She's taking a shit right, right here, me, me, you think? Yeah. He has a little bit of poop coming out. Oh, like, they should have shown, like, the, you know, like, yeah, the happening. Other side. Oh, that's why. Is that the real queen? Yeah, that's her. They got her next to the Mad TV guy. So they got the two, the two queens of the world, right, on, in this one movie? Yeah, where is, um... They got the Queen of America and the Queen of England? I mean, honestly, I'm kind of hoping she comes in to pick this movie up. Yeah. Wait, is that really Queen Elizabeth? That's really her next to the Mad TV guy. No, she would not be allowed to be next to that guy from Mad TV. Uh, this isn't, uh, this is London, though, right? I guess. Lundington. That exterior was. Lundington. Lundington. Excuse for him to get some music in. Some good filler, but get him at least like a couple minutes to this movie. It's a weird, like '60s mix with a late '90s song. Yep. It's like grungy. Who's this for? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> it's 
like not a lot of jokes even being attempted. No, nah, it's just yeah, like going through the motions, making three hundred million, three, cool three hundred million. Fight. Surprising they haven't done more. Oh shit. It's pretty racist. Every time they add it in, it gets funnier. True. You gotta do it in threes. A good joke has layers. Too, these girls. Nah, yeah, they don't. <laughs> but I'm sure the director's like, yeah, I'll let you Whatever, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the same no, height. I don't know the difference. One of the le- on the left is like older by like 10 years. Michael Caine, right? Yeah. Alfred. Yeah, the best thing this guy did do is curb. Oh, I'm sure he's in some other shit I just don't know about. Like, from the 70s or 60s. Yeah, I guess he was. It's, it's surprising that he was a main character in a movie. I guess, like, British, you know, cinema. Yeah, bad comedy is really the worst. So does that mean when they piss, they just like go all backs back up into their urethra or some shit? Yeah, I can assume that like they can't piss. Cool goody. Or it just strips down from outside of the mold a little bit. Yeah, like a... Like, like, just, like what is going on there when it happened? It comes out of their ass. Oh, man, it's a good boy. To <laughs> yeah. That's how you pee out your asshole. Have you ever butt chugged stuff? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm, I was about to butt chug this nitro cold drink. Close to work. You just need a funnel? Yeah, we have a f- clean funnel. Nitro cold brew. Yeah, where is Queen Bay to save this movie? Yeah, they really do oh, need it. They should have like a little clock on the bottom right so you know when it's coming. It's been 20 yeah. minutes and no Queen Bay. Countdown to Bay. Yeah, Queen, yeah. 20 minutes, no Beyonce. It's a little bad. So this was like during a, like what is that, like Hannibal being big? How would Dr. even know about this shit? Animal Crossing? Hey, that kid. Are you guys playing that? No, I heard, I heard everyone is, uh. Oh, that kid's like albino. Yeah, roommates. 
Yeah, I get it now. Oh, is that the kid from Sex Drive? I'm not, I'm not sure. This is, I mean, they're like different ages. This is, wouldn't make sense. Wait, who's that chick? No one. She's good, though. There she is. There like, There's that curly-haired kid who's always in everything. Hey, what what is he in? Just, oh, he's in like a commercials and just like he's in like at curb, always sunny. He's always like makes his way. He has rounds. Yeah, it's, it writes itself. <laughs> you just copy and paste. <laughs> I mean, this will take ten minutes of the movie, right? That's all they want. This is sort of like the uh, the frog thing and meet the and the. Uh, Keebler or whatever. Now we know why he hates him. Oh, yeah. Good call. Max is a lot better than this, Max Keebler. Yeah. yeah. It kind of... It honestly was. kind of was, yeah. There was, like... It was easier to follow. I've already checked, like, how far we were into it a couple times. Yeah, it's, it's rough. I'm trying not to do that yet. Because I know it's, like... <laughs> this really sucks. <laughs> the last time I did it, like, two minutes went by. I was like, oh, fuck. It's really bad. It's just not very eventful. This is sixty three million dollars to make this. Who's the director? Is it is it also Mike Myers? It's Jay Roach. It sounds familiar. Let me see what he's done. I'm assuming he did the other ones. Yeah, he did the other ones. Which, then, you know, so, I mean, if, he, if it were someone else, maybe you could blame it for why it's so bad, but I don't remember the second one. I He did uh, Mystery okay. Alaska. He did Meet the Fockers, Meet the Parents. Oh, okay. Dinner for Smucks. He's got some big franchises then, just between those two. Yeah. Because there's like four Fokker movies, aren't there? Um, One, two. There's two. There wasn't that many, no. We just did the campaign. Is that Zach Galifianakis? Yeah. Oh, we did yeah, the campaign. Yeah, Yeah, he's still working. He did that bombshell movie or something recently. People kind of like that. Bombshell's pretty woke. It's got Margot Robbie in it. Yeah, she's like... Charlize. Movie. Nicole. Does that take place in the 80s? Pipmobile? I don't know. Oh, I guess Pink so. Berry. Okay, so here we get to Beyonce. That's so racist. Yeah. Mm. I wonder how Earth, Wind, and Fire like the royalties. On this, it's embarrassing. There she is. There you go. Slay, baby! <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> You've been waiting for that. 
Yeah, we, we've had that, you've held that Yasin for almost too long. It took 25 minutes to get the Queen Bay. Do you think it's her actual hair or it's just like a wig? I'm not sure. Real. Queen Bay, Queen Bay can't be fake. She was shooting Maestro. Mm. <laughs> this is what this movie is, just so we can have another character. Yeah. This is kind of racist. <laughs> yeah. Another song to eat up like three minutes in the movie. It's like ten minutes of just shitty song movies. Boy, Mike Myers really likes to dance. Yeah. He likes his musical moments. I feel like he thinks it's just funny if he gets in dress up. I mean, it's all that's all it takes. I mean, you can't put Beyonce in a movie and not have her perform. True. I think I think she, everything she is in, she sings, right? I think there should be at least like three or four more Beyonce performances. Yeah, that, those leg jokes are really funny. Yeah. It's funny because he's old. And from Holland. He bent his legs like that. Cameo. What's this guy's name? Uh, I don't If she can act, sure. Does she have a uh, what do you call it? E got. What's that? Does she ever E got like a uh, Emmy, Oscar, Glow and Glow and a Tony? I don't know. I don't think she's been in any plays, right? <laughs> she should be. I think Broadway is done now, right? New York is canceled. I just hope they would cancel the election. I'm really worried about that, guys. Oh, yeah, it's going to be terrible if we can't vote. <laughs> what are we going to do? If I, can't, if I don't get out to those polls and vote, I'm going to go crazy. Dave, are you doing your absentee ballot? No. <laughs> Honestly... I think it may possibly be voting for Trump just as a protest to the Democratic Party. Yeah. I'm, I'm voting for Nader. Yeah. Right in Nader. Hell yeah, bro. One of these years, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm voting Reagan again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're gonna dig him up and just prop up his body and have <laughs> do a puppet act. Just stick, his, stick their hand up his ass and work his mouth. People love him. I'd say it's Michelle Obama should win, right? Right, Dave? Yeah, Obama. What? Shouldn't Michelle Obama probably run? Obama. It's 
funny because Michael Caine's in it. Ah, oh, God, it's just, like slugging along. Yeah. <laughs> this might be worse than that periscope. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> I could they had Kelsey Grammer as gold member. Yeah, if they had Kelsey Grammer starring this, it'd be way worse. Kind of looks like him. I feel like he wanted this guy to be Jewish. Didn't want to go all the way with like something offensive. That's an awesome eye roll, like Queen Bay right there. Yeah, she's yeah, great. She's so. Really talented. She knows how to bring expressions. <laughs> like that joke. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Oh, it's eating his skin. <laughs> Do you guys have skin boxes? Yeah. Shed. Everyone's like shedding all that Corona skin. <laughs> Any celebrities died yet from it? Yeah, the guy from um, Fountains of Wayne. Is he a celebrity? No. You couldn't even name him by his actual name. He just had to reference the band. Yeah. Is that Stacey's <laughs> mom? <laughs> Tom Hanks is still alive. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's because he never got it. He just was fucking a kid. You think that's <laughs> what it was? It was a whole Pizzagate uh, cover up? Get that baby flu instead, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys yeah. noticed any like increase in the uh, sale of ale thermometers at all, or you're not really <laughs> buying that stock anymore? Well, I always have a thing of ale thermometers just for pleasure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a foot long. <laughs> 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 Boxy Cleopatra have a whole lot of wine. <laughs> That's kind of like a Joker laugh. Oh. Dude, you kind of got oh. like the, the clothes for it, I, you're, like your dad said before. <laughs> I do, essentially. Taco Bell. Getting that plug in. Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Man, they look so blatant with it. Yep. It's not even subtle. They have it, like every. Every one of them is in the middle of the screen. <laughs> yep. Put that in the center of the camera, pretty much. Yep, right in the middle. Yeah, get that Taco Bell plug. Well, it makes us all want to have Taco Bell, right? It's true. Beefy Gordita Crunch. Or a Queso Lupa. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing a Triple Lupa now. Well, why are they going to do well, the Quadruple Lupa? It's just like three of them in a row connected to each other. Yeah, Doug, that's three, stupid. Four, you can't do four. Right you can't do four. You can only do three. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Why do they stop there? Make it five. Well, it's too much chalupa. <laughs> I it's too much chalupa. <laughs> Whatever happened to those uh, Chihuahua commercials? They don't run those anymore. Yeah, good question. Yeah, they lost the... I think they don't want to, like, make it too Spanish now. Um, 
Two. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that would fly in 2019. Don't think it does. Is it Katie Couric? Yeah. I think it was. Why? Like another cameo. Like, why even have her for that? Ugh, it's, that's it's really strange. Can we have prison dancing, maybe? Yeah. Oh, shit. The, the that guy. Eric. Who? The guy on the left, the like midget, not the other midget guy. Hmm. He's cut off right now from the shot. He's the bottom left. D Will from Friday. Oh, you're right about the song, Doug. Can, oh, nice. Can, wow. I, can I was not joking. do that. I was like kind of being sarcastic, but. It's so guess... cultural appropriation. Another, another song to eat up three, four minutes of the shit, too. Yeah. I was like hoping I was wrong. Like, oh, the rat. Was he able to get this because of Queen Bay? This is like a musical. Wasn't this um, Jay Z's? Yeah. That's why. There's a connection. Man, Mike Myers lost it. Yeah. It's really fucking bad. Hmm. more embarrassing to be on the back. This is like. Ugh, it's embarrassing. This is painful. <laughs> this is awful. It's like hard to look at. He's so. It's again. It, this feels like the pest. It's going on for so long. Yeah, that's kind of like better. It might be. It's where, like, the humor, you just can't tell who it's for. I guess maybe kids might find this funny. Leafs jersey. Yeah. Little Love Guru, guru uh, hint. The next, like, Pixar. They always throw in their next movie. I think yeah. you're right. Love Guru is the sequel. Sequel. Yeah. <laughs> I need to rewatch the Love Guru. There might be a... Better than this shit. I think it probably is. I have to reevaluate the love guru now. It probably is because there's probably like a plot. And Megan Good's in it. I'm this just is keeping, like watching on mute. This is really just like let's do the same thing. Who's like, in it? Like Jessica Alba's in it or some shit. I mean, they just decided to use a green screen shot from the video. Justin Timberlake plays a goalie or something. Really? Well, he likes working with like pop stars. Who? Mike Myers. Yeah, because he's a star fucker. I, I feel terrible that they made, you know, her use hair like that. Why wouldn't you use her natural black hair, right, Dave? Yeah, for real. Yeah, she should. It's gotta be Mike Myers doing. Uh-oh. It's gonna fuck that frog video. Listen. Yeah, I've seen a lot funnier one than that. It's a uh, bloopers. Remember that uh, funny shit on home video, or whatever TV show with Bob Saget. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> was this just like pre? Uh, it's like pre YouTube, basically. Yeah, pretty much. That's where it, people were sending stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. And like talk soup. No, it really was just like what's popular on YouTube was just like on that. He likes to make fun of people who are different than him. Like Adam Sandler. She's really, she's going for it. She's acting hard. Acting her ass off. Yeah. She's doing, he's doing great. They just, they just needs one take. She's a scene stealer. Yep. <laughs> this is so much talent on one set. You got Ben Savage there? Yep, Fred. What do you mean? 
I think it's Fred Savage. Fred Savage, Savage it's, Garden. Who's Corey? Uh, Corey Hamer, or whatever. That's his younger brother, Ben. Uh, he wasn't available. Nah, less famous. Too busy. He directed a bunch of episodes for Always Sunny. Fred Savage. Yep. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a lot of good ones too, actually. To tell you, it's funny. <laughs> Does he direct his own stuff? I'm not sh- I don't know. Gotta get that joke out a hundred times. Yeah. Oh, he, he, Fred Savage directed this. No, it was this guy, Jay Roach. Nah, it's Fred Savage. <laughs> Old fart <laughs> joke right there. Mm. Classic. He directed The Very Sunny Christmas, Mac and Dennis Break Up, Waitress Get Married, Frank Intervention. He's done like one every year almost. He's done a bunch. Damn. I guess they're friends with him. That's a pretty pretty good joke. Yeah. I missed it. What happened? He should have said it two more times afterwards. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised I have to, like, ask for it again in this movie. He's such good chemistry with himself. You just got Eddie Murphy for this role. Or all of them, really. Yeah, he could have done it. He, he's done that before. Maybe, you know what? Let's just switch to Norbit right now. I don't think it's going to just Norbit. Norbit, Norbit, Norbit. <laughs> I've never seen Norbit. <laughs> or, uh, what's that, like, sure. movie he did? Pluto, Pluto Nash? Yeah. yeah let's Pluto Ooh. Nash. I mean, we're about halfway through this. <laughs> what's the, the second half of Pluto Nash? <laughs> Yeah, let's cross them together. Let's just do a compare and contrast at the end. Hmm. It's great physical comedy here. I really want to yeah. know if kids find this funny. It, just, it seems like the age demographic for these movies just went down. Yeah. A lot. Like, went from 15 to 5 or some shit. Because you, you say it's for kids, then it doesn't really have to be funny. Nut, shot the nuts, Joe. He didn't say mommy, though. Mommy. It's good to get the constant reactions from Goldmember on every single fucking thing. Yeah, it's not like they're like not like filming at different takes. It's almost like having a laugh track there or something. I mean, he needs he needs himself to do. Reinforce that you know this is a joke, everybody. Just in case you weren't sure. He has, like, a couple words he can say in this, like, accent, so he's got to keep repeating them. That's still so good, right? (laughs) All these SNL cast members make great movies afterwards. I don't know, some of them are okay. Which one? Wayne's World. I don't mind Night at the Roxbury. Has more of uh, a plot than this. Corky Romano is pretty good. That's not part of the SNL <laughs> thing. Uh, ladies Man's pretty good. You saw Ladies Don't... Man? <laughs> no, I. I... <laughs> oh, fuck. I feel like I saw bits and pieces on like Comedy Central movie, but I don't remember plot. Is Dave Chappelle in that? I don't know. I, I don't. I gotta rewatch it. I don't oh, know. He was in that one with um, the guy with the afro, Eddie Gr- Eddie Griffin, or something like that. Oh yeah, you're thinking of um. What's that one? Uh, that one's a lot like the black version of Austin Powers. Uh, it's, yeah, except he doesn't do other characters, though, does he? Mm, no, I don't think so. It's something, man. I'm looking it up. Searching Eddie Griffin's IMDb. That's sad. 
I'm the Tiger King. I just finished the Tiger King, guys. Oh, yeah, what do you think? My favorite part was when he stops everything that he's doing and turns to the camera and just repeats, I'm the Tiger King for 10 <laughs> minutes. He goes that? Yeah. I am the tiger. Is it scripted? Yeah, they should have done no. John Legos. Zalo should have played every character. It's like a documentary. He should have played the tiger and they just should have, like, green screen him, like, cumber, cumber bucket crawling on the floor. Charlie Undercover brother, brother is the name of the movie I'm thinking of. Uh, it's not even man. No. Brother. Yeah, the movie's forgettable. So. What was that movie when Marlon Wayans plays, like, a little baby kid? Oh, God. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Brother. Little man. Little man, little yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that should Ooh, go on the list. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> or, I think White Chicks. I've never seen that one, honestly. So that's, that's getting canceled pre, pre-watch. pre White Chicks I've never seen. I'm like almost like I'm curious to see that. I've heard, there's like people I've worked with that swear that it's one of the best comedy. I've heard made. people legitimately say that it's actually good and I just can't believe them. And then I, I kind of wrote those people off. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe, maybe it is really good. I don't believe it is, but I I'm, don't know. I bet but. you it's better than this one. Yeah. This one doesn't really... Again, like, no plot's really moving. It's, it's really hard to uh, focus on watching. It's just not much there. There's nothing There's happening. Like, yeah. I'm, like, drifting in and out of, like, consciousness watching this thing. Is it still 19... It's not 1975 anymore. What? Uh-uh. They went back in time? Or they yeah, went back to the future? Alright, here we go. More racist stuff. Here he is. He was so funny in the second one. For. It was definitely the second one that was him then. See? They gotta remind us. Well, Going back to the... Uh... Mike Myers had to remind us of his other character, the fat bastard right there. Well, and another so, Scottish, right? Fat Bastard Scottish too. Yeah, this this is, so is a hat trick. All three movies so far have had Scottish people. Yeah, yeah. that's really weird. <laughs> is that pre-planned somehow? No, that's just very strange. That is really creepy. Actually. We kind of had. Remember, we had that one kid who was Ugh. returning in all the movies we were watching too. There's that one. Re- he was in um, Final Destination. It's like a Disney what, character. Sawa? No, it was like another what person. Kid? This Disney character kid. We saw, like, two or three movies he was in. Oh, I, I remember the one from the Leprechaun. Yep. Disney movie, yeah. Yep. That's the kid. Should he be squatting if this is Japan? Is this cultural appropriation with Queen Bay? No. She's punching up, remember? She's punching up. Oh, we should cancel Shrek. Do you think Mike Mar- Do you think Austin Powers is woke? Like him as a character? No, no. Kind of misogynist, I guess. Yeah, he's totally misogynistic. Do you think the reaction shot I took from her? Like 30? One. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. I don't think like, like this, I don't this, think anything in this movie took more than two. This is not a compliment, but I can tell she just had one take for most of her things. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really just, obvious. They, they probably, like, maybe initially did, like, five, and then the guy's like, you know what, cut my losses here, let's just get through this shit. Oh, no, yeah, probably early on there, like, let's see if we can get her to act. And then they're like, nah, let's do one take each time, she can't. <laughs> Who's the charm, right? Having him in twice. What is this is a character again? Like, is he a spy too or some shit? I don't know. Probably, I guess. I think it's a henchman. I don't remember like, why he's in this shit anymore. Yeah. It's another one. Is he can do the voice? It's like you know, it's very pro Shrek. 
Pretty much, it is the same voice, right? Yeah, it's Shrek. Good point. We should do Shrek next. Keep it going. You know who was the original Shrek but died during it? Chris Farley? Right? Yeah, yeah, that's know. correct. Yeah. They, they, like, apparently recorded, like, most of the movie, and then he died, like, during. Oh, he died? Yeah. Mike Myers. No, he's still alive, unfortunately. Wait, who else died? Chris Farley. Oh, he's supposed to play Fat Bastard? No, he's supposed to play Shrek. There's all this talk that Disney killed him, actually. Yeah, why? I don't know, man. Disney's trying to take over the world. Dude, this is some woke stuff. Yeah. Fat bastard's woke. He's gonna ruin it, though. There you go. <laughs> this is so bad right there. <laughs> like, this is comedy. Oh, man. It's playing right into that shit and fart joke really more, like, so much. It's like... Like, Max Keebler was fucking more developed and like, mature than this shit. No, I think funnier, too, which is sad. Yeah. Like, it did, like, wallow in its own fucking shit, like, this long. Like, I think they delivered it's a joke better. Movement. They delivered a joke better than, like, a trained comedian or something. Everything, everything in this movie is, like, a ten-minute fucking song or monologue. Yes, seriously, so far Max Keeble is the best of the three. Oh, Max Keeble is one of the best movies we watched ever. <laughs> it's like not, it's not even a joke. <laughs> they gotta bring up you gotta bring up stuff from the other movies well yeah. I think they know every poor bastard who came in to see this got roped in the other two yep no I think honestly they made a ton of money off this and the second one wasn't good it's like a mixture of nostalgia and probably uh, not a lot else competing with it at the time yeah I think that's why it's like if they did do this again it would do really well the same like, thing some happened. movies get overlooked just by the time they come out and something much bigger is, you know, got the focus of it. Wait, yeah. was Doctor Who too good? I don't remember it. Say it again? What was the question, dude? Was Austin Powers too good? No. It was okay. I don't know. I mean, Heather Green was hot. Yeah, I mean, she's good looking in it, but I can't remember the movie. It's That's the same as the first one. Oh, no, Austin Powers 2 was kind of funny. You know what they? You know what they they had in the other ones that they're not doing yet in this is like those penis jokes where it's like things are in the way of his dick the whole time. Yeah. I'm, I, they like haven't done that once yet, which is shocking. It's coming. Yeah, I know. How could you not do that in this? It's like what everyone knows. It's coming. And I was thinking that the, is that the first time they go back in time or something? This isn't Rob Lowe in that one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the plot, though, of it. Do you remember the plot of any of them? Do you remember the plot of this one? No, but the first one, I feel like it's... I don't know, it's like he come, they unfreeze him. Remember he just gets unfreezed? He's, like, pissing for a while. Yeah. Like, some of the jokes are a little more memorable. Beyonce's hair changes sort of, like, pisses outfits. Oh, is Elizabeth Hurley so, is really hot in that <laughs> first one, too? That was a good yeah, one. She was really hot back then. Like, I mean, I know it's Queen Bey, but she's definitely the lesser of all three. So was the Come one on. who played her mom, too. 
Yeah. I mean, Rogers, I think. Yeah, he's got some big tits, Mia Rogers. Yeah, they're, like, massive. They're, like, disease. Yeah, you can see those tits, too, online. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, she's been naked before. What, in, like, the 80s? She she married uh, Tom Cruise. She said they never had sex. She thought he was gay. I thought he's fucking Travolta. Oh, it's Travolta. I think maybe it's Travolta. It's both of them. They're, like, fucking Xenu. Mini Rogers, right? Oh fuck! Mm. So there's that joke of uh. They li- they literally have to like explain every fucking joke. Yeah, because that one didn't land, so they gotta like. They must really like, like have no confidence in the audience getting anything. Like everyone's two years old and can barely can get through. Yeah, there's a huge tits. Her tits Who's okay. Tits? I'm looking Rogers? at I'm looking at Minnie Rogers tits. Mimi Rogers. This is kind of like the penis montage stuff. Yeah, th- I'm surprised they didn't completely do it again though. But they mm-hmm. have like one joke and then they milk it for like for three or four examples and then move on. It's almost done. Mm. There's some more of that. Get the payoff there at the end. Build enough for that. It's gotta have a fart and a dick joke every five minutes. Yeah. Seems like it. That's like, that's the, that's the, you know. Seems like there's more than Keebler and fucking Pest combined. That's the formula. If it's following the Leguizamo formula. Have somebody hot in the movie and then a bunch of poop, shit, piss, dick stuff. But is she, is she, like I said, she ranks third amongst all the girls, I'd say. Uh, well, yeah, I'd score fourth if you count Mimi Rogers. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't count her as a mean, but... But here's some more penis stuff. Who's Mimi Rogers? She's, uh... She's Elizabeth Hurley's mom in the movie. In the first one. <clears throat> Miss Kensington. Miss Kensington, yeah. But yeah, it would definitely be Elizabeth Hurley... Um, Heather Graham and then Beyonce, in my opinion. I would put Heather Graham first. I don't know. Especially nah, dude, at that time. Than that. Elizabeth Hurley at that time was great. <clears throat> Elizabeth Hurley's pretty insanely hot. Yeah, man. I definitely agree She's with that. She's still really hot, too. Still looking good. She's married to, like, some, like, someone, some like, a billionaire, dreams, like, Italian something. Oh, oh Arab guy. Probably some, something like that. Like she's married to some like billionaire type fuck guy. Oh, they gotta make that Roboto joke. Domar got the. Cause everyone loves sticks. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't it be so great if Michael Myers and Adam Sandler teamed up? Have they? No. Well, like cool. They might not like each other. Yeah, they're like, like they're like um. I heard there's real yeah, yeah there's real heat between them. They are each other's competition, kind of. I like that joke. Pissing in his mouth. Because <laughs> Asian people love that kind of jokes. Oh uh, yes, a pee pee in the mouth. Yes, a pee pee in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, we love the pee pee in the mouth show. Now I'm gonna get fired from SNL. Yeah, you're right. What's the guy who got fired from SNL? His name again? Uh, I don't know. He's pretty funny. William Gillis. You saw him, right? Yeah, he's pretty funny. I mean, honestly, it's, it's probably a good thing to get fired from there. That's like a, it probably means you're funny. 
Yeah. Hmm. How did? Yeah. I mean, I guess this is where the money went there. Like these sets. That vehicle. I think it just went to fucking Mike Myers. Yeah, it's just all yep, all his bank account. Queen Bay. I think a lot. Or do you think they use Queen Bay? It's kind of pretty. I don't think he's, I don't think he's making like, you know as much as now. Right. Could... This is what launched her career. Mm, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was. But it wasn't this. <laughs> This is what launched Michael Caine's career. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of just playing like a slightly younger version of that Children of Men character. Yeah, same, same, yeah. It's like a prequel. Oh, true. Smoking that, uh, what is it? Throw Strawberry cough. cough, yeah. Strawberry cough, bro. You love that dreadlock woman, I know, Leland, right? <laughs> you really like her style. She, honestly, she ruined that whole fucking movie for me. I, I really hate that movie just because of her. <laughs> nah, that movie's good. Especially, like, thinking back at this, I don't know. Well, get ready, because we're going to be living in that fucking environment pretty soon. Yeah. It's true. It has that vibe. It has like a leftovers and the children of men vibe. Hopefully Clive Owen can save us from, from what's going on right now. Yeah. Let's get to that baby. Yeah. To the uh, the wet market. He had another good curb appearance. <laughs> yeah, that COVID that baby's got a virus too. Everyone's going to be eating babies instead of bats soon. Yeah. I heard they're still doing their like pet markets. I heard about that though. I bet babies taste amazing because it feels good. Then you would think it's just like the same thing. You just got leave it in a cage. For yeah, a how, how are your <laughs> What a terrible rate. You, you, <laughs> you gotta prep the baby and tenderize it over how like, like, <laughs> grass feed it. Charmander. I kind of like that copyright joke. I like Charmander, though. Yeah, that looks more like Charmander than Godzilla. Charmeleon? They got a Bacardi ad in the back, too. No, dude, that was Charmander. That wasn't Charmeleon. Charmander? Yeah, but how are you guys' uh, uh, quarantine dreads coming in? Mine are coming in pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't started yet. I really wish, like, Mike Myers just added, like, you know, split screen? I wish it went to four and you could see two other Mike Myers characters, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, really, I really want the, more. The only thing this movie's missing is like three more characters that Mike Miles can play. Right. Yeah. The, the pest should get hunted by Doctor Evil. There could be a crossover. Ooh. An Ace Ventura pest. Um, Ooh. Allison Powers crossover, like you know, it's like Freddy vs Jason kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Ace Ventura only speaks out of his asshole the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what else could you throw into that? Probably oh, Eddie Murphy yes. in um as like the clumps the clump the whole oh, clumps true. are in there too. Oh, yeah. Crossover the clumps. Actually, we should start a campaign and hashtag Chris crossover Lily. the clumps. And then throw Chris Lilly in there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten into uh, some some kind of you know uh, getting canceled culture stuff. You could have a cameo with Chris Lilly. Like they go to Australia for a second and he's there and he does his <laughs> character. You know what I mean? Like Wait, didn't, they're in the airport. <laughs> didn't people want to cancel Smouse? Oh, yeah. Everything he's done ever since, too. I mean, he is doing pretty offensive stuff. It's, like, kind of undeniable. Like, I got a <laughs> like, message for all you kids out there. Why don't you take your elbows and slap them? <laughs> <laughs> my fucking elbow. You do it like this. <laughs> is there a smells like album you can go and buy and shit? It's on Dude, Spotify. Spotify, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? There's, There's some bangers, bangers on that one. He's making money on that. There's some bangers on that one, there is. 
Is he just? I don't get this. Why is Mike? Why is Michael Caine in this? Because he's. I don't know. Is it based off Michael Caine, the whole character, or something? Like, oh, maybe it's from that movie Alfie kind of thing. Huh. Alfie. Yeah, that's a Ar- Michael Caine movie that they rebooted. Are you thinking about Arthur? What did I say? Alfie. No, Arthur's... Isn't that what... You guys that, Ar- that Ardwork motherfucker? No, no, no. There's <laughs> a... <laughs> the W. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't like that character. Yeah, DW is the best, man. The chick with the bangs. Is that the ape girl or the sister? I don't remember. DW is the sister. Now, Arthur's, like, about this guy. He's like, spends all his money in, like, booze and whores. It was that Comedy Central a bunch? It's terrible. Isn't it, what's his name in the remake? Um, the terrible comedian, British comedian dude? Oh, yeah, the original's, like, Dudley Moore. It's Dudley Moore, yeah. And then the new one is, uh... What's his name? Uh, like, fucking Lance, uh... Lance Bass or something. <laughs> yeah, Lance Bass. <laughs> yeah, Joey Fatone. <laughs> oh, no, it's Russell Brand. Yeah, Russell Yeah, Brand. that's it, that's it, yep. <laughs> From that, from the game in the Greek movie, which is like an all-time classic. It's like a bad first movie, so it's like they didn't need to remake. It. I think there's two too. I don't know. I think Dudley Moore is like really popular in the '70s, so it's a classic. A lot of people. I mean, it must have been the good back then to make enough money to be a reboot. This how this how Brian Tri- Torrio dies. It's suffocating. I think he. Uh, I think he OD'd on like heroin or some shit. Let's find out oh, what happened. Probably wouldn't take that much. Yeah, he's like a good person to get addicted to heroin because he probably doesn't need that much to get high. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this joke. Works. I like that they put him in a sack and he's like... <laughs> yeah, <it's pretty laughs> okay. So it wasn't heroin, he was just a drunk. Um, Even that, it probably doesn't take much alcohol to... Uh... He died from alcohol poisoning, yeah. He drank a yeah, beer. Like a full beer, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like two Zimas. Yeah, it's so funny when he, he dies, everyone just makes the same joke about the one beer. Exactly. <laughs> like his life has pretty much become this one joke about drinking one beer. <laughs> I mean, that's what you get when you play Mini-Me, right? Three times? Yeah, are, there, are there any other celebrities that had a death like that? Like, uh, well, MJ's an easy one. Mini-celebrities, you mean? Yeah, like... Mini... <laughs> no. <laughs> just like, you know, like, my mama cast died on a ham sandwich. There's always, like, these deaths that you don't realize people that died, too. Like, a lot of celebrities like that. I guess they're, like, they fall into that same range of Vern Troyer. Hey, Kamandu Patazi died on the fucking John. <laughs> what happened? He switched sides. He was, like, fucking yeah, uh, No, 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 you guys all went out for a second. Singularity happened. I think that's an effect of uh, Mike Myers. Uh, the singular- we just went through the singularity, guys. Yeah. The singularity, man. You think we're on the 2012 timeline? That's Everything's hit- kicking in now? Exactly. Like, I mean, you're right. Leon's out, looks like. Something happened there. No, I see Leon. That's weird. Yo, his Wi Fi done got the coronavirus or some shit. Yes. Yo, Leon's Wi Fi got the coronavirus. I think (laughs) think it did. I see Leon just fine. That's funny how it's like, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't either. It's got a triangle for me. Leland, can you hear them? Leland, can you hear us? It's weird. Something happened. Maybe you lost power or something. Is that Michael, is that uh, John McCain? <laughs> yeah. John McCain with, um, what's that, that other Howard? Oh yeah, Fartman. 
<laughs> you could have put in fart, man. Do they do the joke where it's like he's got a he's got a giant d- dingus? You're a dingus. Like it switches to a different character. Oh yeah, I think that's the first one. Oh, right here. They'll do it right now. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. There we go. They have to, they have to repeat everything. All right. Fred Stern. And that guy's like a comedian. Hmm. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, wow. America's favorite family. This really takes us back in a time machine to 2002. They were really popular for, like, a few months, and then it went to Kardashians. They were the first... What's her name is still so beautiful, the daughter. Right. Kelly Osbourne. Kelly Osbourne is, like, so beautiful, and she does, like, the, um... She said some racist stuff before, though. Do you ever hear any of her songs? She said some unwoke stuff a lot, though. No, she's woke now, dude. She needs to get canceled. Nah, she's woke for You can't cancel a woman. I don't know if she's a woman. I think you gotta lift under that hood. What's happening in the (laughs) podcast? Are you following this, Dave? I'm sort of. They're stopping Dr. Evil, and... Mini me turned and it sucks. Mm. It really sucks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this movie really fucking sucks. A little racist joke there. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't bad though. What was the racist joke? About her hair. Oh. She like, shook it out like a dog. Yeah, Mini Me is very problematic in this. Yeah, he's, he's like, like an asshole. Super. He's like raping the Queen Bay right there. I guess it's good that he's dead now. Yeah, right. This does feel like that, like, last act of the movie, though, like, is very comforting. No, we're not even close, man. Really? No, uh, we, we are. We are. Got, Dude, there's another hour. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the first part. We gotta watch part yeah, two of Gold Member. <laughs> they cut it up like Harry Potter. He looks more like Clint Howard than Clint Howard now. Yeah. I think Mini Me or Troyer got really drunk after the you know the all the failed stuff with this movie. Or because they need to make another one for him to be in. I mean, it's all he had. Yeah, and that was more than enough. <laughs> yeah, even Robert Wagner's like, oh man, this movie sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Green likes it, though. I think everyone was happy they, they didn't spend much time on this, though. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell everyone's barely being shot besides Mike Myers, you know. Like, yeah, they got in, they got out, they made, like, three songs for ten minutes of filler. And... Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for another song. Well, it's going to come. Just to help at you the get end. through. There's going to be a final song at the end. There'll definitely be another song at the end. Yeah. Oh. That's hilarious. Best CG. Why would it be him, right? Improv, right? Yep. Go see, like, on strings or something? Oh, that's, that guy's in the uh, first movie. Yep. Everyone remembers him, right? He's got a pretty distinct voice. Something yeah. About it. And look, yep. Oh, they're gonna do the the whole uh, what is it silhouette bit? Why is there like six apple juices over there? Oh, good call. <laughs> yeah, they are gonna do like a... for his blood sugar or something. I don't know. I think he just set up for the bit. I guess they weren't even that like. <laughs> I like this joke. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's okay. That's like the only funny thing so far. Yeah, that, that got to laugh. Get that hour and 20 minute build up. Piss, like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. That, that's why the joke is so good. Yep. Yeah, this is a slow burn. It's a slow burn to the piss joke. <laughs> the sputtering, like, piss joke. Well, you called it, Leland. Oh, maybe. Yeah, oh. the other time it was like a tent. Oh, yeah, here it is. They, they know they have to hit all these or this is going to be a riot in the theater. Yeah, everyone wants this. What did it do? This is a white fucking pig. <laughs> Twenty fucking pigs. Twenty dollars. I think we'd be more confused as the hand coming out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, that's a good joke. Again, yeah, yeah, this, this is the funniest scene in the whole movie. Yeah. Is the this like doctor scene. This guy's really gullible. This is like a sailor guy. <laughs> yeah, all the shadow stuff was good. He's given the best performance so far, this guy. Yeah, this it's has like been the best scene. In the movie. One good scene in the whole movie. Him and Beyonce as well. Oscar caliber. Yeah, all you need is Beyonce and one good scene. He's a nice clean bay, yo. Throw in some slapstick. Everybody loves. <laughs> yep, another dance scene right here. Yep, it's so funny when people dance. Yep. That was kind of out of nowhere. You just need someone dancing. It's funny. This should have been a cartoon. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What Please, no. Don't unpause it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 for me always like checking the time constantly on this yeah I just did and there's still a lot left there's well it's like there's about like 12 minutes left well, hopefully it's like 10 yeah with like I was, the credits well, I don't know if with this whole everyone coming together I just felt like a good point to wrap it up yeah it's like oh never mind another 15 of Maybe a ten minutes is sick, like new song. So the movie, the whole plot is just like he's got to get Doctor Evil, right? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, I lost track of what was going on. Back on like That's Beyonce's cool. third hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, she's had a few. She she has more hairstyles than all the other actresses. She gets that award. I think you're a little headed because <laughs> so, yeah. it was still on Michael Caine I'm like what is he talking about that's the girl is not that also still the girl from uh like oh never mind she'd be way too young is this like an <laughs> old shot of Michael Caine <laughs> yeah, what just, the fuck they just used a clip from a movie it was a... <laughs> that's pretty good yeah <laughs> And it's cheap. Where's the shot? He like dyed his hair blonde or something.
Doggy. Huge reveal. Yeah. And they're dragging this one on. Oh, wait, the Sharks. Samuel Jackson treatment. Mm hmm. <coughs> yeah, there's the stunt guy. Did they ever explain why he's uh, a bald albino guy? No. No, have to. When they had the, the flashback, there was no, like, uh, explanation there. I missed that. Damn, can we go back from that point and just rewatch the movie again? Yeah, let's do that. Let's <laughs> just rewatch it, yeah. <laughs> we should start it again from the top. I need, like, another hour of this. Yeah, we should repeat it. <laughs> just, so we get, just so I can get everything they've thrown at me. Yeah, I agree. Me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hate him too. <laughs> oh, another Michael Myers character. We need her to save the day. One doesn't Queen Bay. It's good they always just make a note to like say everyone's name so you remember whoever one is. Yeah. I did forget her name until there. Came in handy that fake leg. Yeah. You know, for the second time. The same person, same <laughs> situation. Yeah, it's a un yeah. Formidable move. It's hard to get out of that one. That's some good CD. <laughs> you know, I will say Queen Bey slays, though. She slays every scene. Yeah, everything I have a in. feeling she's going to get shot here, though. Pop Daddy, uh, joke. Mm. Breaking the fourth wall. Oh wow, that move really always works. Hmm, okay, get one joke in there.
Yeah, everybody getting the same shot. All huddle up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just come receive your awards. Yeah, it was, that's such a weird looking shot. They're all in it. Like, it's so mm-hmm. strange. <laughs> Weird. Oh wow, they got two the, the two creepy Scientologists in this. Maybe it's where they met. It's yeah. There's something with this. There's some kind of message with Scientology in this too. Hmm. Great way to end it. We gotta get one more song in though. Yeah. This sucks. It really does suck. Boo. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that cat too, probably. I wonder how many people like Myers is raped now when you think about this. Well, we you should have been personally raped after yeah. watching this. I feel like raped. I have been raped by Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah. My spirit's been raped. <laughs> Oh, no. Wow, Jared reference. Yeah, how many pedos can you fit in one movie? Yeah, you got two big notable ones. I remember the like seeing the next day the New York Times or whatever had like uh, some pretty good foot-long jokes about him getting him in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think it was the New York Times. <laughs> Do you think he's got it in jail? Coronavirus? I know that, uh, what's his name? Epstein's got it. Harvey Weinstein. Epstein, fucking. Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, Weinstein. One of those Steens got it. Harvey Weinstein. Joel Steen. Joel, uh, yeah, Joel Austin. Boy, this movie fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah, It's pretty screechy, Annie. Beyonce yeah. couldn't save it. It's a hard watch. Well, here it sets up the... That's good. Let's get some more Seth Green in there. It sets up the fourth one. Oh, yeah. I didn't even thought about that. Damn, they robbed us of this. What could have been? Yeah, it would have been he- passing Seth on the Green torch. Dance. Seth Green dancing. Best part right here. Oh, Best good. scene. I can't believe there was no, like, uh... Like, sequence. Or like the dick in front of the thing and like oh, the, the visual thing where they move it all around. That's too hard for them to do. Yeah, I don't know, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to save this one. Yeah. I don't think you can. I think this is cancelled. It's probably cancelled. But it has Queen Bay, so I don't know. I I'll, I'll spin Say it. you're on the line, you're like fifty fifty. Queen Bay comes to save the day in the end. Yeah. 